Hello and welcome to the video. About a year ago, Cedar Point announced the closure of Wicked Twister, a beloved ride depending on who you ask. Since then, the ride has been demolished, fences have been put up, and some construction has begun. Yesterday, we finally got the announcement officially from Cedar Point, and new for 2023 is the boardwalk. If you haven't had a chance to take a look at the video, the link is in the description below. So, getting that out of the way, let's hop right into it. History here on the Lake Erie Shore. And in 2023, the fun continues as we welcome you to the boardwalk. It's our modern take on the Cedar Point of yesteryear, a reimagining of what the classic Cedar Point boardwalk experience would have been. The centerpiece is Cedar Point's Grand Pavilion right behind me. The two-story complex will be a great place to enjoy culinary creations you can't find anywhere else in the park. Or take a seat and have a drink at the Lakeview Bar and enjoy outdoor patios with amazing views of the park and Lake Erie. Located just steps away from Cedar Point's Grand Pavilion is our 18th roller coaster. It's the Wild Mouse. This new coaster is a nod to Cedar Point's Wild Mouse of the past, but this version can do so much more. You'll climb 52 feet and then twist, dive, and spin 360 degrees along the track. And the best part, each ride is different depending on how many people are riding with you. And we're also adding more to the boardwalk. Our Scrambler and Matterhorn rides will join Wild Mouse. And Scrambler will get a refresh and be renamed Atomic Scrambler. We're also renaming and refreshing Tiki Twirl into Calypso, another ride from Cedar Point's past. We're also making updates to the entire Midway, plus adding even more immersive entertainment for everyone. The new Wild Mouse, Calypso, Matterhorn, and Atomic Scrambler will join Windseeker, Giant Wheel, Troika Troika Troika, Dodgem, and Gatekeeper to make the Boardwalk a great place to begin a new chapter in thrills for the entire family. Your American summertime tradition continues right here on the Boardwalk in 2023. All right, so that's a lot to digest so far. Uh, we'll begin going through it just right from the beginning. The first thing I want to mention is it's very nice to see that they're keeping the whole vibe of the boardwalk, you know, trying to really embrace the beach. Uh, I appreciate that. The building itself, I like the styling a lot. It reminds me quite a bit of the arcade and the uh, dance hall above it. The only thing I will say is I don't love how it appears that the giant wheel is literally right in front of the building. So you're going to be walking down and then, you know, you have this like grand entryway, but it's hidden behind the giant wheel. Uh, I like how they're keeping, you know, some of the flat rides and making it very boardwalk themed. So that seems nice. With the move of uh, Matterhorn and Scrambler, I'm kind of wondering what they're going to be putting in those positions over by like the employee area. If I do a kind of guess, it would probably be like an expansion of the employment area, maybe more training facilities or some offices, but who knows, maybe they'll actually get rid of corkscrew and put a larger coaster in that area. It'd be kind of nice to see. I understand where they say this is something for everybody. You know, they got a roller coaster. They're not actually adding any flat rides, which is kind of a cop out in a way. They're just moving some and retheming them. Uh, I'd like to see, you know, they're redoing all of this and you're going to have this nice, beautiful area, but then you have this really outdated kitty area right next to it. So I'm hoping in 2024, 2025, you know, pretty soon that possibly they're going to, uh, you know, upgrade that kid zone. What is it? Camp Snoopy because, or no, I'm sorry. I don't remember the name of it. It just, it's outdated. It needs some refresh and it'll be nice if they can do that, maybe match the theme or something with this. Um, I really like how they're embracing like all the trees through. They have a lot of pathways, it looks like. I hope they keep that outside of the whole initial mock-up because I don't like being, you know, right butt up next to somebody else. As for the building itself, I'm assuming that the bottom floor will be a lot like Farmhouse and Back BQ where you have like a line on both sides and then it's almost like a buffet or cafeteria style, I think it's called, where you come in, you get your food, and then there's probably gonna be like a maybe a dining room on this side, dining room on this side, and then maybe some chairs in the front. The one thing I do notice is it looks like this outside area is outside of the park. So I don't know if this is gonna be an actual door or not because they have the gate over by Windseeker. So you might not actually be able to come out here and like eat which kind of stinks. It'd be nice if you were able to like come out and have tables out here or something. 
And then it seems like the bar is maybe going to be this whole second floor. Uh, I guess we'll see more about that. That seems like a really big bar, but I, they don't really have an area like that right now. And you can see in the mock-up of this how it kind of matches the arcade building. All right, so moving right along. Grand Pavilion. That's such a nice looking mock-up right here. I hope the building ends up looking quite a bit like this because that'll be really nice. So for the roller coaster, I don't understand why they continue to build wild mouses. Cedar Point is a very popular park. It's one of the most well-visited parks that Cedarford has. I think the only one above it is like Knott's and uh, Canada's Wonderland. Wild mouses are terrible with throughput, and this is the fourth one I think they're going to have. So let me grab my uh, my good old notes here. This is the wild mouse that they're talking about. This wild mouse ran from 59 to 63, and it was the original steel one that they had. They had a wooden one called Scamper, and this was open from, see, I got my notes, 62 to 69. And then the latest version, which I got to ride, and I'm sure a lot of people probably have, is Wildcat. I, this color scheme's awful. It looks like the Incredible Hulk. Uh, this operated from 79 to 2011, and then they took out this coaster to build Luminosity, which I'd rather have had this coaster. I don't really like Luminosity that much. I don't understand why they keep building them, though. If you remember back in the day, uh, this was like the last ride you would go on. It would be like an hour wait, like right before the ride or right before the park closed. And earlier in the day, it was like a two-hour ride. They took it out because they said it had bad ridership, but now they're building another Wild Mouse coaster. So I'm a little, little confused on that. I think it'll be a great family coaster. I mean, Waldemir has one that's like very smooth. It's it's a good ride. It's fun. But I think Waldemir, when we were there, we waited an hour and a half maybe to ride that one. And Waldemir is nowhere near the same size as Cedar Point. So make sure you get your fast lane pluses or you know whatever this ride's gonna be on, because that might be the only way you get to ride it for a couple years even. Uh, it's unfortunate. I, I think they need to like work with uh work with the company to make like two loading stations or something like that. <laughs> Build a second one maybe, I don't know. That's like the only way I think a wild mouse could really work at Cedar Point. Um, I think it's unfortunate. I would have rather seen a family coaster that was like, uh, what is it, Fire Fire Express or something at Dollywood. That thing is super fun, and I feel like the uh, the throughput's a little bit better. Either way, I'm glad that they're adding another coaster and you know keeping the spirit alive of the coaster wars a little bit maybe. Uh, with that, there there was no update to. Top Throw Dragster, which is unfortunate. I'm sure something will be coming out pretty soon for it, though. Uh, from the buzz I've heard on Facebook and such, it's uh, red markings or something around the base. You, you can only see the markings if you go on Iron Dragon. I'm kind of wondering if the like old cove, the Pirate's Cove or whatever it was that went back like in the bayou, Blood on the Bayou, the old Blood on the Bayou, Maybe Top Throw Dragster, the new line will go through there or something and connect through the back so that you're not really like under the ride as much. Uh, I, I definitely want to see it reopen. It's a tragedy what happened, and I don't want anybody to get hurt. But I also really like the ride and the investment that the park put in it. I'm sure they're going to try to uh, not close it at all costs if they're able to. I mean, that's just unfortunately the way that you know things happen sometimes. As for Tiki Twirl, they mentioned that it's going to become Calypso again. If you're not familiar, this ride used to be at the end of Blue Streak, and then they moved it over here when Valraven was built. So that'll be kind of neat. And then they also mentioned that they're updating the Midway, and they're going to add entertainment for everybody. So I think it'd be kind of cool if they have, like, I don't know, clowns or mimes or something, like walking down the Midway, kind of like a, a boardwalk or a fair or something. I think that'll be really cool. And then they also mentioned maybe some other entertainment. So I don't know what else would be fairish. I'm sure they really like their musical acts. So probably some musical acts or something of the sort. Kind of wondering maybe they'll have a like a stage in the center or like on the second floor, like up in the bar area. I don't know. It'll be neat. Let us know in the comments below if you're excited for this update or a little disappointed. I know for us, we're mostly excited and we'll definitely be there in 2023 and we hope to see you there.